Police just cleared the scene and the restaurant back open tonight. Uh, we talked to customers and they tell me the victim's mother who was here. Everyone's still asking questions why this happened in the first place. More than 12 hours after the shooting and Delray Beach police are still at the crime scene looking for clues. This woman doesn't know the victim, but says she still feels his family's pain. Sad, really sad. I don't even know him. I wanted to cry for the mom. I, I feel really, really bad. Delray Beach police responded to the XL nightclub and restaurant here on Congress Avenue, just north of Linton Boulevard, to reports of shots fired. This is surveillance video inside the club that night before police arrived. When they got there, they didn't see any injured people, but they did find shell casings in the parking lot and blood there on the pavement, along with somebody's personal property. Police contacted nearby hospitals and learned the victim's friends put him into a car, drove him to Bethesda Hospital in Boynton Beach, and left him on the curb outside the hospital, where he was officially pronounced dead. For him to die on the side of the, the hospital, just drop him off like he's some trash, it's really sad. Now that victim has been identified as 23 year old Nahirson David Gustav of a Boynton Beach. Uh, folks tell me that he arrived in this country about five years ago from Haiti. Um, they're also saying that they're still trying to get more information. Now police did tell us that fight took place outside here in the parking lot. There was some type of argument inside and the owner ordered everyone outside. That's when the shooting took place. In the meantime, again, they're questioning witnesses, but they still need people to come forward reporting live. In Delray Beach, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.